The sales order worksheet in Excel Databridge enables you to post either single or multiple sales orders in Sage 200, providing you have the Sage 200 commercials module. With the sales order worksheet come three Excel templates which are pre-mapped to the relevant fields in Sage 200. These templates allow you to create your sales orders immediately, saving your time and effort as you won't need to create Excel spreadsheets manually and map them to the Sage 200 fields yourself. If the default templates provided don't quite meet your business requirements, they can be easily amended to suit. Excel Databridge provides two options for creating single sales orders in Sage 200. The rapid order template and the single line template. The rapid order template is designed to enable sales orders to be created in Sage 200 in the quickest way possible. This template mimics the Sage 200 sales order feature Enter New Order Rapid, where orders are created for standard stock items only using default unit prices and discounts for each customer, and the goods for each order can be supplied from any one warehouse location. To create a rapid sales order, firstly click the Clear Sheet button at the top of the spreadsheet, which sets the document date, date requested, and date promised fields to today's date. These dates can then be overridden if required. In the top half of the template, you can either type in the customer code this order is to be created for, or you can right click on the cell and select Excel Data Bridge Browse. This gives access to your full Sage 200 customer list to select the customer account from. You can search for customer accounts based on account ref, short name, or name by clicking on the filter icon at the top right of a column heading. Now select your customer and either double click or click submit. Add a customer order number if required and then select which warehouse location the Sage 200 stock items on this order will be supplied from by browsing on the field by default supply from, selecting the location and either double clicking or clicking submit. The fields for status and order number should be left blank as they'll be populated by Excel Databridge when creating the sales order in Sage 200. In the bottom half of the template, select the first stock item by either typing in the item code or right clicking on the cell and selecting Excel Databridge Browse. The stock list is automatically filtered to show only the stock items that belong to the warehouse location selected in the by default supply from cell above. You can then search on either the item code or description by clicking on the filter icon at the top right of the column heading before selecting the stock item. The description field will also update with the default data from the Sage 200 stock list. If you need more than one stock item added to the sales order, Excel Data Bridge allows multiple stock items to be added at once from the main browse screen. Using shift and click functionality allows sequential stock items to be added. And using control and click functionality allows non-sequential stock items to be added. You now just need to enter the quantities required for each stock item. The fields for unit price and discount percentage can be left blank to use the default values set in Sage 200, or you can override these if you have the appropriate user permissions in Sage 200. I can now choose to either validate or I can skip the validation and go straight to the Create Orders option. Clicking on Validate checks for errors which can then be corrected prior to creating the sales order. If no errors are found during validation, the status field will change to Pending. And if errors are found, Details of the error will appear in the status field in red. Please note, if an error is returned during validation, the error must be corrected and then the error removed from the status column before trying to create the sales order. Clicking Create Orders will then go through the creation of the sales order in Sage 200, which also goes through a validation process, which when complete, 
shows that the status has changed from pending to processed and the order number field has been populated with the SAGE 200 order number which allows you to trace the transaction in SAGE 200. To create further rapid sales orders, either clear the data from the fields status and order number before adding the new order details or select the clear sheet button to start from scratch. The single line template is designed to enable a single sales order to be created in SAGE 200 in the same way as the SAGE 200 sales order feature, enter new order full. Sample data will appear in the template by default to guide you, but this data can be deleted to create your sales order from scratch. To create a full single sales order, firstly complete the header details in the top half of the template, including customer code, dates, customer order number if required, and any discounts if required. The final field in the header for apply order discount surcharge enables any applicable order value discounts or surcharges for the order to be either applied by entering a value of true or dismissed by entering a value of false. Again, the fields for status and returned sales order number should be left blank as they will be populated by Excel DataBridge when creating the sales order in SAGE 200. The bottom half of the template shows more columns than the rapid order template as there is more available functionality when entering a full sales order in SAGE 200. The first column for line type is where you can specify whether the item line is a standard stock item, a free text item, an additional charge, or a comment line. You simply select the required type from the drop down list or type the relevant letter in the cell, which must be capitalised as the field is case sensitive. You can browse in your stock items via the line code product column, and a browser is also defined on the warehouse column. Complete the quantity column with the required amount. The quantity to allocate column only applies to stock items. If the quantity to allocate on the order is the same as the order quantity, leaving this field blank will default the quantity to allocate to the same value as the quantity when creating the order. Complete the remaining columns as required. Any fields left blank will use the default SAGE 200 data on creation. If there are any fields on the template that you don't use when creating sales orders, you can remove these columns from the template using standard Excel functionality. You can also assign a project code and project item to the sales order. Both columns have browse functionality and display your SAGE 200 project data. Add the remaining items to your order, then select to either validate or create orders. The status and return sales order number fields will populate to enable the sales order to be traced in SAGE 200. The multi-line template is designed to enable multiple sales orders to be created in SAGE 200. Any fields that appeared in the header section of the single line template appear as columns in the advanced tab of the multi-line template. A standard tab is also available to use, which contains fewer columns than the advanced tab. For example, the fulfillment, discount, VAT rate and project columns do not appear in this tab. So if these columns are not required, you can use the standard tab instead of advanced. Again, sample data is included in both tabs for you as a guide. On this template, there are three sales orders. One order for one stock item only, and two orders illustrating the use of the different line type codes S, F, A and C. When posting multiple sales orders, Excel DataBridge needs to let SAGE 200 know which lines of the sales order belong together. This is achieved by entering some data in the Group by ID column against each line of the sales order. 
Note how the first sales order has the letter A entered against the one stock item line, the second sales order the letter B against each item line, and so on. This data could be numbered 1, 2 and 3 instead of A, B and C, as long as the data for each group of item lines is unique. I must also remember before trying to create the sales orders to clear the status and order number columns of data so Excel Data Bridge knows there is data to create. Clicking Create Orders will again post the sales orders into Sage 200 and report back the status and order number so we can trace the sales orders. You're also able to trace exactly what sales orders have been sent via Excel Data Bridge into Sage 200 by selecting the View Audit button. View Audit allows the tracking of uploaded data against each user, Sage 200 company, and Excel Data Bridge worksheet for a given date range. You can view further details of each transaction by selecting the transaction and clicking View Transaction Data. You've now completed this Excel Data Bridge module. Thanks for watching.